Hi, Geminis. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so this is your love and relationship reading. Now, Geminis, you had a um, jumping card and it was racing and rushing in okay so this card fell out of the deck i had to get up out of my seat and go get it it like flew way right across the floor when i was shuffling <laughs> and i'm like okay so wait a minute like who is rushing back into gemini like what is going on here all right so let's see let's get into the message cards here and see who wants to come back in i'm picking up that um somebody may feel like they're gonna have a missed opportunity with you and they're afraid that you're gonna get away from them maybe you had an argument or um you're not speaking to this person maybe you guys aren't talking and maybe you know what i'm also picking up the energy that this person is waiting for you to call them or they were waiting for you to call them but maybe you're standing your ground with someone and they feel like they have to rush back in because they're not used to this energy coming from you, Gemini. They're used to you reaching out and texting them and asking them if they're okay and arguing with them and wanting to talk and wanting to discuss things. But you're like, nope. <laughs> you're like, no. Some of you are like, I'm not doing it this time around. Like, you know, whatever it is, I feel like you're tired of someone's energy. You're tired of them taking you for granted. And you're tired of them taking the relationship for granted and walking all over it, okay? But somebody is rushing back in because they're afraid of something. So let's see. Okay, so we have challenging. We have questioning, doubt, and confusion. This card has been showing up a lot, even in private readings. Um, and then we have moving on and letting go. So did you move on and let go of someone because you're tired of the way they go about this connection or they're not telling you what you really mean to them? I'm picking up the energy that some of you, you're dealing with a partner who is very elusive. This person will not tell you what's going on with them. For some of you, this could be an online relationship where you met this person on um, social media or uh, a dating site. And it's like everything is going good. But then when you start to ask questions, it's like this person pushes back or they pull back and they push you back. It's like they push you away. It's like, no, I only want you to know like so much of me, so much about me. Or I only want you to know a little bit about me. Like they have something to hide. And then for others, I feel like you've been in a challenging situation with this person and you're waiting for things to get better. But you're questioning and you're doubting if it's going to happen because there's so much confusion and it's like you feel like this person is not putting in any work or any effort and i'm feeling like because some of you are so used to you doing everything that they feel like they don't have to they feel like the relationship is still going to thrive and still going to move forward but i'm feeling like some of you are like no nah, not anymore like this is a new day new energy new um frame of mind new thought pattern new everything i feel like some of you woke up and it was like you know a, a new you and this didn't have to be today this could have been sometime this week sometime this month so whereas though you're like you know what i'm tired of feeling like i have a relationship or i have a connection but you're the only one in the connection working towards anything okay someone may be um a little self-centered someone that you're dealing with and i feel like they make this connection hard and you're like it don't have to be like just tell me what we're doing you know say what we have going on and i feel like you're dealing with someone who won't say it but they it may be because they have someone else and they feel like if they tell you that that you're going to let them go but you're planning on moving on anyway, or somebody's planning on moving on. If this is not you feeling this way, Gemini, this is your partner feeling this way about you. Maybe they feel like they can't make a choice here. They don't know who to choose. All right, so let's see. Let's put these over here. Yeah, look at that. We have anxiety. Time is running out. We have reconciliation and returning, though. So somebody's coming back to y'all. If somebody walked away from you or you had an argument and you're wondering if this person's going to resurface or if they're going to talk to you again, they are. You have reconciliation, returning, and anxiety. Time is running out. Yeah. See, this person feels like if they don't hurry up, <laughs> if they don't hurry up and bring their ass back.
expect that you're going to be like, okay, you know what? I don't even want you. I don't even care. I'm just going to move on. I'm just going to find somebody else. Because I feel like some of you are picking up the energy and the attitude. Whereas though you're so tired of someone doing the same thing or putting you in like a holding pattern. So whereas though nothing's moving forward. Everything is stagnant. Um, because with the anxiety and time is running out, there's worry, there's fear here. So whereas though it's either your partner fears that they have to hurry up and come back in because you're going to leave them or either you fear that someone is not going to come back in and this person's rushing. They're going to rush back in out of nowhere. Um, there's re reconciliation, reconciliation here. Sorry about that. Can't even talk this morning. There's um, reconciliation and returning. Okay. So this is a general reading. So of course, um, it won't resonate with each and every person out there. So take what resonates and leave the rest. But for some of you, you feel like you're either waiting for someone or you feel like they're not going to come back in. And this person is. Okay. So let's jump into your reading. And let's see what else um, the universe has to say about this connection, Gemini's. I hope you guys are staying safe out there amidst this coronavirus pandemic i can't wait till this crap is over i need to get outside and i don't mean just get outside and go for a walk because i've done that <laughs> like i need to go shopping to the mall something somewhere but i hope everybody is um staying safe and i hope you guys families are safe all right so we have the star card here so some of you can be dealing with an aquarius okay but if you're not dealing with an aquarius just fix my light in here if you're not dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, um, there's wish fulfillment coming in for you. Major Arcana, okay? So you had two jumping cards here with someone rushing in, racing in, and then you had another jumping card with Star, okay? So some of you could just be dealing with an Aquarius where you're waiting for this person, and if you are, they're coming. And then others, you know, if it's not an Aquarius, it could be any sign, um, there is wish fulfillment. There is something that you want here that you're going to get. It's coming Okay, so be patient here. All right. Okay, so we have the seven of swords here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Some of you could be dealing with, but you're tired of this person being sneaky. We have the seven of swords. Yeah, hidden knowledge. The high priestess. Somebody is hiding something from you and you know it. That's the thing, Gemini. And you keep offering this person love. And you're like, nah, I'm not going to keep offering you love because I know that you're being sneaky. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, whatever the sign. With the Seven of Swords being here, the High Priestess and the Page of Cups, you're like, listen, okay, I can't keep offering my love to you and I know that you're going behind my back and you're doing something. And every time I ask you and try to talk to you about it, I feel like for some of you, when you try to talk to somebody, your partner or someone you're dealing with, it's like they get defensive and you're like why are you getting defensive i just asked you a question i'm not insinuating i'm not implying anything some of you are implying because you know but i mean it's a simple question and it's like their guilt shows through their answer or their guilt shows through them not answering you so it's like they don't respond or the way they respond lets you know something isn't right and you're like i'm not gonna keep giving you my love you tripping <laughs> like okay like it is what it is but um we have the king of cups in reverse so some of you could definitely be dealing with the water sign cancer pisces scorpio um male or female energy here this person is very unstable they're unstable because they they're dealing with someone else here they're confused you're confused you don't know where you stand they don't know what they want to do we have the eight of swords so you're trying to figure out whether you should stick around here with this person because it's like um you feel like they're being manipulative for some of you, you feel like they only want one thing or that's the only thing they come around for. And then when you try to see if there's anything else between the two of you, I feel like this person gives you an attitude or they like pull away from you. Yeah, you're tired of putting in the work here. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, where you're tired of doing everything in this connection and you're tired of your basket coming up empty here because, you know, this... um. This is like a farm this person is on. It looks very beautiful here. It has the flowers growing. The trees and everything look great. It's money hanging off the trees. And this person is putting in all this work. It's like she got the pastures or he got the pastures in the background. And everything looks great. But then it's like, why am I hanging on to this empty basket? Why isn't there anything 
um, happening here. Okay, it's like you're doing all the work in this relationship or this connection. And it's like this person doesn't show you that they even want to um, move forward. But they do. Because you have racing in, rushing in. I feel like this person is stolen or making a decision for some of you. I'm picking up energy that... Um, there's another person here. It could be their child's mother or father, or it just could be um, a long-term connection that they had with someone else that they're trying to get out of, or either they are telling you they're getting out of, or that they've gotten out of, but you see that there's some type of um, missed information, like you're not getting the full story here with this person. Yeah, because we have the moon card, okay, secrets, things being kept in the dark, but it's going to be revealed. Whenever the moon card comes out, something's going to be revealed to you, um, Gemini, and if it hasn't, it will be. Okay, so if this is not your energy, if you're not feeling this way, this could be your partner. If they're cross-watching, feeling this way about you. We also have um, Pisces energy here. We have Taurus as well. So we have two major arcanas back to back, and then we have the five of pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus, Gemini, okay? And you feel like this person is lying. They're not being honest. They're not being open. They don't want a commitment because the Hierophant is reversed. I feel like this person wants you in their life. And they do love you and they care for you, obviously, because they're rushing back in because they don't want to lose you. They know that you're on your way out the door, right? I feel like this person does care about you, but you want, I feel like for some of you, you want more than what they want right now. Or you want more than what this person can actually give you. Maybe they're stuck in a situation where... Um, you know what I'm also picking up on is... Somebody is living with someone and they can't afford to move out or walk away. They may not even be telling you that they have money, they're having money issues. And I don't feel like this happened just because of COVID-19. I feel like this person was um having money issues before that. And they just weren't telling you. I mean, it could be because of the situation of COVID-19, you know, where everyone is losing their jobs and things like that. Um, but I feel like for some of you, this person has, they've been promising you they were going to leave this connection and move in with you where you guys were going to um, have a family and, and become more stable and grounded. And you're waiting and you, or you were waiting and you're tired. You're tired of waiting on this person because you feel like it's never going to happen. We have the five of pentacles here. So um, this person may leave you out in the cold. They may not show you the attention that you want. I feel like some of you are saying to yourself, this is not how a relationship supposed to be. Not even if it's the beginning of a relationship and it's like you're trying to get to know someone and you're trying to move forward with them. Like, why the pullback? I feel like this person comes towards you when everything is good and then when you start asking them questions and wanting to know, you know, where you guys headed, that's when things start getting weird between you and this person. That's what I'm picking up on here. Okay, so we have the King of Wands here for some of you. How ironic. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the Three of Cups. Yeah, this person has a third. Oh my God. For some of you, this person is dealing with more than one person. If you're dealing with the King of Wands, Fire Sign, and Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius, they could have a third party, but they could also be dealing with multiple people here. And they know you're aware of it. Yeah. That's what I'm picking up here. Okay, so you could be dealing with um in fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius, but I'm also picking up um Libra Gemini Aquarius as well. But they have multiple people that they're seeing, and they don't want to settle down, and they don't want to lose you as well. So it's like you're like, no, we're not doing this, and they know that you're onto them. They know that you're onto them. They know that they have to make a decision. I feel like this person has been sleeping on it, thinking about it all day every day like you know if i don't hurry up and do something or, or make something different or something come in and act like i want this like gemini is gonna walk away so we have the ten of swords here yeah betrayal you feel like somebody stabbed you in the back they could have lied about this third party maybe you asked them time and time again and they told you no but you know that they're lying okay because it's three cups, three of cups all over the place right here. And it's like you keep offering them something and they're looking at it and they're like, yeah, I want your cup. And you're like, okay, so get rid of these three. <laughs> and they're like, 
oh, and that's when they push you away. And you're like, okay, I'm not going to keep dealing with the Ten of Swords energy from you where I feel betrayed, I feel stabbed in the back, I feel taken advantage of. For some of you, I feel like you do a lot for this person, whoever they are. They know they can depend on you. And that's another reason why they're not, somebody's not willing to give you up. They are not allow. they're not willing to allow this to happen. Okay, so keep that in mind. I feel like they feel it, they see it, um, they sense it, they sense that something is like you're gonna like not be in their life anymore. So we have the Ten of Wands here. We have the tower. Yeah, so did you get into an argument with someone, Gemini? Or are you, uh, I, if if you didn't, I see it coming. Because we have the five of wands here. So we have, yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with um, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone with fire heavily in their chart. So whereas though there was an argument, look at this. There was an argument between you and this person. And if it didn't happen, I feel like it's coming. And that's the straw that's going to break the camel's back where this person is going to come rushing in. They're going to rush in because they're like, okay, I feel like you're going to make them understand like, no, this is not enough for me. Sorry about that. The cards like they're slipping out my hand. You're going to let them know like, this is not enough for me. I need more. Like what you're giving me, like I don't want that. Yeah, you can deal with it if you want it to, but you don't want to. You're like, I don't want this for my life. <laughs> like, you know, like why don't you understand that? And I feel like, I feel like in the beginning, for some of you, things were different. You're like, okay, you know, I'll put up with this or I'll put up with that. And let's just see where things go. But I feel like after some time has passed, someone has gotten really comfortable in the connection the way it is. And you're like, no, like, okay, by this time, we should have definitely moved forward. Okay. So something is burdening you, Gemini. Well, your partner, if they're cross watching, we have um, the crescent moon here, which is deception. And then we have wands um, with the 10 of wands. This is a burden, something very heavy on someone that they're dealing with. I feel like they may be trying to come out of a connection, but I also see that maybe they will. Let's see. Let's put this deal. I feel like you guys were arguing with someone or um, it could have been through text message or through social media or something. So whereas though you're like, you're in conflict with this person and you don't know what to do about it. You don't know whether to walk away because the tower has fallen. Okay. And this person is falling out for some of you all, you know what else I'm picking up on? Somebody was found out about somebody lied about a third party. Somebody definitely lied about a third party here. And now this person has fallen out of the tower they feel some type of way they feel like you know their secrets they're not happy about it they don't know what to do they don't want to lose you so now they're trying to make rash decisions also is what i'm picking up on also feel like somebody is definitely like okay let me just hurry up and get this right or do something because if not i'm going to lose the person that I care about, even though I'm not ready to settle down. Yeah, somebody's not ready to settle down, though, because they have the two of pentacles here. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, doesn't have to be, um, could be any energy. I mean, any um, zodiac sign. But with the two of pentacles, this is someone juggling. And you see the rainbow in between it? It's like they care about both people. So for some of you, it's going to be really hard for this person. Or they either care about you and this other person. Or they can't just readily walk away from something. And it could be children involved here. Some of you could be dealing with someone who's married too. Why did I just pick up on that? And I don't even see a marriage card here at all. We have the three of wands. Yeah, you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting on this person. You know they're juggling. And this is where you guys are. But see, the thing about the two of cups, whether reversed or in the upright, it still holds a positive connotation, okay? Because it shows that there is a connection here. But it's like... Even though there's a spiritual connection or a soulmate connection between you and someone, you feel like this person is meant to be in your life. You're meant to be with them. Um, and you feel like you guys could have something together. You're like, okay, I'm not going to wait around forever. Because the Three of Wands is all about waiting. It is about waiting for your ships to come in and not waiting in vain and getting what you want. But I feel like you're like, okay, so how long do I have to wait? And being as though this person is not telling you anything... You know, you're feeling like, I'm not going to continue to wait here for you. So we have the Six of Cups. 
So this could be someone that you have um, history with, Gemini. Or they could be dealing with someone that they have history with. But guess what, though? Guess what? We have the Eight of Cups here. So are they walking away from something to come towards you because they know you are the Empress and they can't lose their Empress? They know you embody all. Like, you can take care of you, a family, them, your children, their children, if you choose to. I mean, everybody doesn't, you know, want to be in that type of energy. But I'm just saying, they know your worth. They know... Your, they know your standards. They know what you require. You require something out of them. They know that they can't come in and just give you anything or tell you anything. Like, you're not going to fall for the BS. <laughs> okay? Um, also, I'm picking that with this Empress. Some of you could be pregnant. Or you may feel like someone... Um, you may feel like your partner got someone pregnant and they're hiding it. And they may have to walk away from this connection. <sighs> okay. I'm picking up two different stories here. I'm sorry. Give me you one second. Six of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Empress. So some of you, um, all right. So for some of you, I'm picking up whoever you're dealing with. They're walking away from someone or they're going to stop showing attention to something from the past. With the Six of Cups here, nostalgic energy. It could be Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or any sign, right? Um, because they know you're worth and they don't want to lose you. They know that you're out the door. You're walking away. They have to either show you more attention, come in, do something. They know they have, it's something that they have to do. And then I'm also picking up energy that somebody's pregnant here with this empress. They don't know if they're keeping it. Okay, no, this is not for everyone. Okay, so don't be alarmed um, if you know this is not your situation. But somebody is pregnant and they're like, okay, somebody walked away from them. And they feel like the person that walked away from them went back to someone from their past. So now they're trying to figure out if they're going to keep it or not. Okay, that's somebody's story out there. So we have the Five of Cups. Regret, guilt, sorrowful. Um, it's like they know they screwed up. Somebody know they screwed up here. Yep, and then they want the Six of Wands with you. They want the Six of Wands. They're not going to let you go. You may think they're going to let you go, maybe because you're not talking to this person. But this person sees you as the Nine of Pentacles. They're like, okay, like she or he don't really need me. So like if I want to make this relationship work with them, I'm going to have to hurry up. And show them but you do have the ace of cups here so I feel like there's going to be new energy between the two of you yeah somebody wants to make something work with the eight of Pentacles it's like they may not be showing you this energy because I feel like um for some of you this hasn't transpired yet okay because I feel like you were going through something with this person um but we do have communication coming in from the Eight of Wands. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And we have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. But I see energy of someone coming back in out of nowhere. That's what I'm saying. See, we have rushing in twice here. Repeat card, okay? The Eight of Wands. Um, I feel like this communication is going to come from them unexpectedly okay for some of you this could be someone who lives far away from you they may not live in the same city state or on the same coast okay you guys could be on a different um even a different country but whatever this situation is they're coming in gemini so this person is not you may be thinking something's over something's done but it's not they're afraid that they're going to lose you okay you don't even know it i feel like you think that this person doesn't care but that's not how they see the situation they're they're thinking right now they're in an anxiety and a panic situation but they're trying to play it cool somebody is sitting in their um pride and their ego also is what i'm picking up on and time is running out and they know it okay so somebody's gonna come rushing back in for you all right so that's what i see here so those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading, Gemini. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cross Never Lies Tarot. I'm also on Instant Go. So if you have a question, you can reach out to me there. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.